Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We, we are, are the Spillers. Spillers. Okay, listen, so <laughs> this is like take three. <laughs> this is take three. Yeah, um, literally. The first one was good, but you can hear our kids all, <laughs> all through the background. I mean, yeah. they were turned up. Had this idea that we were going to just keep it real. And it's like, yo, <laughs> we was gotta like record at, at, throughout the day. And kids in the background, I was like, oh, but we no, just won't do it. I, babe, I feel like they were like loud on purpose like yeah. it's talking about we'll, we'll have to <laughs> yeah, some of them to show you one time about. they were i guess playing like prisoners i don't know i don't know what they were playing yeah. they <laughs> just, just, uh, <laughs> yes yes so that kind of helps as well i think that you find a place of um relatability or comfort comfort yeah but think about that like when you go from being oh sorry <laughs> yeah but they was turned up. It was too much. We were like we we just gotta do this all. Yeah. Over again. So then the second the second take. And, and then has glasses on. on. <laughs> you don't want glasses. Here we are again. And now so this is take three. And so, in between all that, I made some chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> yeah. And so. you know, parents listen. Sometimes you gotta get your snack when you can get your snack. So. <laughs> we have our chocolate chip cookies now while the kids are winding down. We supposed to be talking about health and stuff on here. And but listen, to today all, we need some chocolate chip cookies. Kind of They're all right, babe. They're not my best batch, but I'm trying to taste more like cake than cookies. But yeah, but they're still so good. They're though. good. They're popping. With the recipe you had before. Oh okay. good. That's, that's the one. Okay. So we're gonna put this down. No more. I'm finished with mine. So. <laughs> okay, so let's switch gears a little bit, and I guess we'll go back in time yeah. and talk about how we met yeah so we actually met through um by way of a, a app called meetup mm -hmm. it's not a dating app no it's just you know like well, again we're both divorced right previously married divorced and now remarried yes and it's we were both in, in similar places where we were looking to get out of the house and interact <laughs> with other, other adults. adults yeah and, and I think it's cool to do it in a way in which you are um, uh, put in a position where you're out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Because, I mean, I was doing stuff. I was attending events and stuff like that. But um, it was typically like with family and friends that I already knew. Um, and after a while, you know, you, you realize that, okay, if I want to get out there again, I have to put myself... Um, in situations where um, I'm gonna meet somebody. <laughs> yeah. I think the day that we met, like I almost didn't even go. Same with me. I was so, because I'm, I'm. No, I won't say I'm socially awkward, but new experiences sometimes, and going to new things by yourself, not knowing anybody. Yeah, it sounds good, yeah. you know, but but actually doing it is scary. And I almost didn't go either. My, I was like, I don't know. My mom was the one that talked me into going. She's like, you should go. You might meet somebody, um, establish a new friendship. Like, go. Don't go. Don't not go. So I went. And I was just like, all right, if I don't go, what am I do? I mean, just stay in the house, do something, watch TV, or, or work on something after hours on my computer. Uh, so, like, all right, let me. I think there might be something else. Maybe like a concert or something, or, or a jazz musician was in town. I was like, I might go to that, mm -hmm. but nevertheless, I didn't go, and I ended up going to the meetup. Right. And we uh, we met at the Columbia restaurant. The Columbia restaurant in, in, Ybor. in Ybor, yes. And this event was um, dinner, and it was like 50 of us, yeah. I think. We ended up, actually, when we got to the event, um, uh, probably like about 30 minutes or so into it, we are seated, we end up sitting across from each other, and then, you know, you just start making small talk, um, and we recognized that we had uh, seen each other. I think I recognized that I saw you somewhere yeah. first. Yeah. I think you probably thought I was like a stalker. <laughs> I don't know, but I was like, um, you look so, you know, you look familiar. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Thinking like, huh? Like well, this is typically Classic. stuff. Like I would say. Well, right. No. But it was true. The the funny thing about it was that um, I would ha I think it was probably at least a year or maybe two years prior to that. I had saw him at church. Um, uh, a couple of friends and I had attended uh, his church, um, and I remember seeing him um, there. I believe he was playing guitar, 
at the time. And so when we were at the meetup, I'm like, man, this guy looks familiar. And I'm like, hey, do you, you know, you look familiar? And he had the whole hey, like shock look I'm like, wait a minute. Like, where uh, do you know me from? Right. And uh, then I was like, do you go to church? And he was like, yeah. And then I asked him the church, you know, that he goes to. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I've been here before. I've seen you or whatever. And so that kind of like. I yeah, guess broke the, broke yeah the broke the ice. So now, like, and there's other people around that, like, we've all been talking to, but now, like, we're really kind of talking <laughs> to, like, oh, really, you went there too? Yeah. Like, um, what what church do you go right. to? Right. Just trying to figure so out, weird. track down, like, how, like, our paths had kind of Cross. crossed in yeah. the past. Yeah. Um, and it's really cool. Like, it didn't hit. Now I feel like I have more stuff that I could talk to you about. So, um, uh, uh, there was a girl sitting next to me. Her and I were talking. And um, I remember telling her that I was divorced. And I was, cause she asked me like, well, what brought you out here? And I'm like, well, I'm divorced and I'm just ready to kind of get out and start living my life. And I remember I saw his eyes kind of like, like get really big. So I was like, hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, obviously I don't, I didn't ask that, um, but I had assumed that he was also. Um, yeah, and like I'm, I'm listening and trying to like, get a perspective on you know, just how everything happened and what's going down. Like, just kind of listening. So I, I, I would say, you know, I kind of leaned in a little more nosy. at that point in time. It's like, oh, okay. Um, but even, you know, saying that you were divorced, you still seemed like a really, like, cool person. Thank you you, you did. didn't come off like, like you were bitter or anything like that. Yeah. So. I, I, I think because at that point in my life, I had worked the steps, I guess you would say you can say I was ready to again not like go out to find love but I got to a place where I was happy with myself to where I felt like okay like it's time to get out and if something comes out of this if some handsome man comes along <laughs> you know then that's wonderful but if they don't that's fine too and um I felt like that was important for me so let me ask you something so so let's skirt so so here we are we're saying that we hit it off right so i'm thinking okay <laughs> i'm thinking okay in my mind i'm like this is nice new this is new for me you know i don't really know like is he gonna like ask me for my number no <laughs> he was gone i was like I well sheesh i'm like i car. thought we hit it off so i'm driving home and i'm kind of like just thinking about the night and i'm like you know what that was really really nice like i'm so happy i went and i'm thinking like i kind of want to get to know him a little bit more yeah and lo and behold <laughs> i get back home and like again i just done i'm i'm back at the at the crib on the computer and my phone like says i get a notification and i'm like what is this notification from meetup from <laughs> Janae. I didn't even know you could message people like that. <laughs> I, I know like the coordinator would send out stuff. But I didn't recognize that, you know, just anybody can message, through, message the app. through the app. So I'm looking and you're like, I think you said like, you know, it was nice meeting you. Um, yada, yada, yada. It'd be fun. We could do it again sometime. And I'm like, oh. And listen, that message that was like two sentences long, it took me all of like, I don't know. I had to work up the nerve to send it. But I'm like, you know what? Again, a girl's gotta shoot her shot. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, here, here it goes. And he responded. And um we literally like afterwards we we went to one more meetup. Yeah. It was a bowling event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is really cool. And we'll we'll post we actually have a picture from the first meetup that we where we met. Um so we'll post that picture. But um yeah, I just feel like from there, we went to the bowling, the bowling um, event through Meetup, and then after that, we were just meeting up on our own. Oh, yeah. Um, and we really just took a lot of time just getting to know one another yeah. um, as friends. And um, so we as, were at different like stages. I remember yes. like um, again, it was really like getting to know someone and starting like a friendship. Yes. Uh, I mean, we were pretty straightforward with stuff, mm -hmm. um, even if it was like. Whatever. I think at some point in time, I remember we had a conversation. You were asking like, "What did I think about uh, like marriage and kids? And would I do it again?" And I was like, "No." He was adamant. I was like, I'm not. I'm, mm. No and no. Marriage, no. Kids, no. And I was like, okay, because at that time, that's just what we. At. Yeah, and I was understanding of that, and I feel like 
you have to be yeah you, you have to be and i think anybody who maybe is even considering um dating you know after getting divorced or after a breakup um just be willing to to start as a friend with someone like i don't think i had ever had that experience before and it really it changed a lot of the it took a lot of the pressure off yeah and like he said like there's all you can be is yourself and if the person accepts that they do and if they don't they don't but you don't you don't lose anything from right it. and i think yeah it's definitely something new i think really starting off as a friend because i was one of those people like one of those guys that think that had the idea or the notion like you know guys and girls aren't really friends like that mm -hmm. um i just that just wasn't really my way of thinking but i think it's more helpful when you start off as like okay this is my friend so i think about it as a friend and i think that has continued to be the the structure or the backdrop or the foundation mm -hmm. of like our relationship mm -hmm. yeah so we went from meeting up at meetups yeah. to just meeting up and getting to know each other to now we're married and um i think the the Divorce does a lot of things. It does. It, it changes you. And I think it is okay to go into something new, whether it's just, you know, you want to start dating, you want to get out there um, with um, caution. Yeah. Yes, you go out with caution, but you can't be guarded. Right. Because you might lose yeah. um, out on something. Yeah, thank you. An opportunity. Yeah. Like, yeah. had I stayed in whatever state of mind I was in, like, I would have completely, like, just shut you out. Mm -hmm. I'd have been like, you know, cool person, but, hey, I'm just, I'm, that, that ain't me. That ain't, that's, I'm going down this path. Yeah. But I think your personality and, you know, just you being you. Because, again, like, we're approaching this as friends a lot of times when you are, you're, you're dating, you have this facade, so you want to put your best foot forward, which is great. But you really don't give the other person the opportunity to get to know who you for who you really are. Right. And when you remove that, it, like you said, it takes away a lot of pressure. And you can just kind of be who you are, talk how you normally talk, mm -hmm. um, show the interest in things that you genuinely are interested in without trying to be like, oh, yeah, I like that too, mm -hmm. when you really, really don't, don't like that at all. So yeah. I think it, it really helped just us getting to know each other mm -hmm. from there on like we just continue to go down the path that we went on yeah every time i'm like hey you want to do something or be times you'd be like hey to me, like, <laughs> all right you want to do something or a lot of times we would hang out and he'd be like on a friday it's like yo let's do something tomorrow too. yeah and we just that's when i knew he was <laughs> feeling me i was like oh you want to hang out tomorrow too okay <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was good so yeah, I would say, what's the takeaway? Dating after divorce. Try it. Right. <laughs> Try it. Uh, You're only hurting yourself. Yeah. And you give yourself an opportunity to find out who you are and what you like and what you don't like. And, and you know, if you don't like something, you don't have to, you know, pursue it. That's true. Know what your tolerances are or, or um, and make yourself open to trying new things. Yes, again, dating after divorce is it's not it's not so bad. It is scary, but just like anything else, you have to get out, you have to try it to see if you like it. Yeah. And again, shout out to Meetup because that's yes. how we met for we all got you guys married. out there. Thank you, Meetup. Yes. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you think. You know, um, are you ready to get back out there? Have you been getting back out there? What means have you been using? And not really just dating, but just kind of getting back out and, and reengaging with life. Yes. I, we highly encourage you to, to test it out, to try it out, find out who you are, and live again. Yep. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.